you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about our curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head Is me and you Both speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna pace it Cause it only does this with you So we are currently at the Vatican City Museum. We're on a tour this time, so we have a tour guide. We're not just randomly uh, roaming the city. We're in the main area. But yeah, we're gonna tour the Vatican City Museum today and uh, should be a good time. Let's go. crazy all the uh, paintings and details fine details that are on the ceiling all the staircases in this place are marble and uh, it's pretty incredible and the ceilings are all painted and we're lost still but we're thinking we're thinking there's only one way to go so hopefully we can find our tour guide we finally found our group we were lost in the vatican city museum for uh probably like 20 minutes and uh there's just paintings and hallways everywhere every different direction but uh we're good now. We found our way back to the group, so St. Peter's Basilica, I think is what, where we head next, and then uh, we're gonna eat some lunch after that, so. Apparently this is a royal staircase that we're on right now, and it leads to the top, and it goes the to the apartment. Pope's apartment. So presidents and special people walk up those stairs and go to the Pope's apartment, apparently. Presidents? Pre yeah, that's what she said. I don't know. We're just along for the ride on this one. We're just happy to be back with the group and not lost in some big art museum. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Alright. I'm not sure what that is, but everybody's taking pictures of it, so I figured I would too. Update. I think it has something to do with that guy right there. Got a selfie with that guy that's on the building. Check this out. Oh, look at this. This is pretty cool. Check this out. It's like a big thing. I'm not sure what it is, but it looks pretty fancy. Huh? They got pretty epic doors here. <laughs> All right, so now we're hanging out. I think this is like the center of Rome or something, maybe. Center of. Center something. So it's clearly the center of, of a, an important part, and there's a cross. Look at the big columns. There's a cross in the middle. So that right there on the door um, is a picture, or uh, whatever you want to call it, sculpting of Saint Peter's crucifixion. Um, that apparently happened really close to where we are right now. They built the church on the top. And they built the they built the church because of it. So 
total, this is a sculpture of St. Peter, and he was the first pope of the Christian church, right? Mm -hmm. Is that what they said? Pretty crazy. And he's buried in here, I think, as well. I'm not sure, though. But I guess we'll find out. This church here is absolutely massive and they actually have uh, another church that I think she said represents like the original, yeah, the, first. Um, the first church here. Underneath um, all of this, all this craziness. And right here, you can actually see down. To the original church. Crazy. This is insane. And all this stuff. I mean, just this guy right here is like bigger than life size. And it goes all the way up there. Alright. So that's a wrap on the Vatican City Museum and in St. Peter's Basilica. And now we are back in the main center. It's pretty amazing here with all the uh, marble and um, how big everything is. All the buildings are huge. The police drive uh, sprinter vans around here. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> all right, so we're leaving the Vatican City Center. And where are we heading? Lunch. We had a really good Italian lunch. And now we are heading apparently to the most ancient part of Rome. So now we are heading to the Roman Forum. Not 100% sure what that is, but it's probably going to be pretty cool judging all the other stuff we've seen. We are now at the Valley of the Roman Forum. I always say that we in Rome have uh, uh, lasagna. Uh, do you know lasagna? You can't have lasagna there. The tour guide explained that everything here in Rome was built like lasagna. Everything's built on top of each other. And it started in 18 BC. And then 5 BC is when all the things got built. I don't really know. Marissa found a friend. Seagull. <laughs> Coming up to Coliseum. We got beatboxing going on right in front of the Coliseum, folks. Let's go get a video of this guy. So that was crazy. Follow that dude on Instagram if you want to hear more beatboxing. <laughs> we got Roman gladiators outside of the Coliseum duking it out. Bandito. Above the doors, which were your social status, on where you could enter through the Colosseum. And these are the Roman numerals.
Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to go inside uh, because of time, and then we have to be back on the ship. Okay, we're in the middle of the town. The ship lives in two hours, and we're an hour and a half away from the ship. Yeah, so we have to leave. I don't know when, but pretty soon. It should be interesting. But for now, we're just going to enjoy the uh, enjoy the view of that thing. Have you ever wondered why the Colosseum here in Rome is uh, only half of the Colosseum? On the other side? Because it was affected by the earthquake. Not sure what earthquake. Not sure what earthquake, but the earthquake. apparently something demolished half of it. So. <laughs> just like that, we're leaving. So the number one thing that I've learned from all this is do not take a stupid tour cruise. Um, the, the paid tours that you can buy on the cruise, do not pay for it. We're, we've been following this French lady around that barely speaks English and I could understand like two words um, out of all of it. And you get 10 seconds to take pictures at whatever you're gonna go see and then you leave and go to the next thing. So I would definitely just do it on your own. Don't pay to do their little tour and just go figure it out on your own. That's what we're gonna do uh, at all the other places and all the other stops. So we won't have to be a herd of cattle like we are right now. Where's the city? Over. Near the sunset. Don't worry, I made it. My heart hurts so bad. Alright guys, that's a wrap here. A day in Italy. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure to go down and smash that like button for us. And uh, if you guys want to see next week's video, please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you're notified right away when we drop the video. But next week, we're going to be in La Spisa, Italy. Maybe holding up that thing, that uh, the, tower. the leaning tower of Pisa. So please make sure to su subscribe so you get to see next week's video in La Spisa. Ciao. Ciao.